Rise Against are a punk rock band formed in Chicago in 1999. Today marks the anniversary of their fourth studio album, The Suffer and the Witness. Released on July 4th, 2006, the album peaked within the top 10 of the Billboard 200 albums chart. It did well for the band, be eventually being certified gold and spawning three singles that charted well on the U.S. and Canadian rock charts. The band is known for their advocacy of progressivism and their political and social commentary in their music, and this album is certainly no exception. And while this was written uh, as a critique of the Bush administration, its message is still incredibly relevant today, and frontman Tim McElrath even predicted this 15 years ago when the album was released. To quote McElrath, I think that a lot of the problems we deal with today in the world are the ones that have been plaguing society for centuries and probably will be here a hundred years from now. Hopefully not, but probably will be. There's a bigger picture than just the Bush administration and specific problems of 2006, and I won't be able to relate to that even if they're listening to it ten years from now. Listening through this album, I find that there are three major themes that are consistent throughout the album, and the first of which is a theme of environmentalism. This theme is prominent throughout the singles released for the album, especially the lead single, Ready to Fall, where its music video details an ecological collapse, as well as the struggles of endangered species. In the song's chorus of, I'm standing on a rooftop, ready to fall, while some people interpret it as a suicide note, it also, may, when watching the video, comes across as a plea to protect the earth, as evidenced towards the end of the video. We also see this on the single, The Good Left Undone, with lyrics such as, but I know, so I tell myself, I tell myself it's wrong, there's a point we can't pass, we, which we can't return. I feel a cold rain of the coming storm. And also, inside my hands, these petals browned, dried up, fallen to the ground, but it was already too late now, I pushed my fingers through the earth, returned this flower to the dirt, so it could live. I walked away now. These lyrics deal with already reaching the point of no return when it comes to climate change, and at this point we're already seeing the impacts of it, and we can't go back. And in fact, we're already seeing that in real life, especially what's, what's been happening in the Pacific Northwest and the damage it's caused. We're at the point of no return, where we have to act now, or else it'll be too late. The big hit off the album was the song Prayer of a Refugee. This song tackles the topic of forced displacement. Now, with lyrics like, I'll tell you stories of a better time in a place that we once knew before we packed our bags and left all this behind us in the dust. We had a place that we could call home and a life no one can touch. With lyrics like that, what does this have to do with climate change? Well, in regards to the catastrophic damage that will be done thanks to the climate crisis if people don't act, Climate change will lead to a refugee crisis and forced displacement, which are the exact themes that the song discusses. Later on in the song, we hear the lyrics, We are the angry and the desperate, the hungry and the cold. We are the ones who kept quiet, always did what we were told. But we've been sweating while you slept so calm in the safety of your home. We've been pulling out the nails that hold up everything you've known. This is especially relevant today with a top ExxonMobil lobbyist admitting that the company has been funding science research that makes them look better. Another theme that I find running throughout this album is a theme of war and resistance. And while a song like Bricks, a 90 second, almost interlude-ish track, touches on the theme universally, Song like Drones really goes into the issue of war in both a literal, but more particularly, a metaphorical sense. The song uses the term drones as a metaphor to people who are essentially players in the game, uh, working class people who are playing by the rules, but are still oppressed and discriminated against in a hyper-capitalist state. The drones all slave away, they're working overtime, they serve a faceless queen, they never question why, disciples of a god that neither lives nor breathes, but we have bills to pay, yeah, we have mouths to feed, I won't come back. This is especially relevant given the economic challenges that the younger generation face compared to their older generations. 
And while there are more personal social issues that are tackled on the album, such as um, relationships on songs like The Approaching Curve and Roadside, or issues of addiction and love on songs like Injection, the final main theme that I see throughout this album is a theme of hope. The song Survive best displays this theme of hope with the lyrics, We've all been sorry, we've all been hurt, but how we survive is what makes us who we are. It's essentially saying that surviving in such a dystopian hellscape, if that's what it seems like at several times, definitely says a lot about you, and trying to fight back against it and being educated about injustices definitely will help. And we're seeing that now with less and less Americans, especially young people, approving of capitalism because of the failures that the system has brought to America. And that is definitely a reason to be hopeful. And on their most recent album, Nowhere Generation, they emphasize this um, no, this theme of hope um, by saying they have the power, but we, the nowhere generation, the younger generation that has been screwed by capitalism, have the numbers. And that's exactly a theme that is prominent on this album and on top of all the others. And these are themes that definitely ring true today and something that despite everything happening and all the reasons to be kind of a doomer when it comes to this kind of stuff, there is reason to be helpful. Thank you all for enjoying watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it was something a little different, but if you like it, you know, give it a like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Um, if you want to check out some more of my videos, I got them right over here. And I'll see you all later. Peace.